dunk in water. Is it okay? There is yes, no form of thing which is being dunk in water. I got a trot, and that trot is filled with water. What I am to take hypothetically is a cuboid of water. Am I clear? This is no foreign element. I repeat, which is dunk in water. Am I clear, class? Yes, sir. Yes, so what sir. is this to you? Tell me. What is this to you? It is nothing but water itself, right, dear? Yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. I have given faces to water. I've got six faces, of which only one is visible to you, right? Yes, yes sir. sir. Yes. Okay. Now what we do? We take axis. This being y and this x. We take axis. Y axis, x axis. And this is water cuboid to us. What I am asking of you is, tell me where, according to you, pressure will be high. Just play on your hunch and let me know of where, according to you, pressure will be high. Or if you are of your opinion, pressure will be even through and through, we'll accept that even. No issue. At the bottom. Yeah, at the bottom. Pressure will be high at bottom. Okay. That is the reading that you have coming from your ninth standard textbook. That pressure will be higher over here. As you know, Archimedes principle. Correct, dear? Yes or no? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. So I'll go by that understanding. No doubt about it. You are correct in your understanding. Pressure over here at this level. So can I say pressure at this level? Let me mark the pressure. Let me mark this as my y axis. Distance is y, and this one being marked as y plus dy. The two coordinates that I'm showing. For this, what coordinate I have marked is y. And for this, what coordinate we have taken? y plus dy. Very thin. The cuboid is wafer thin. Is it okay, dear? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So we have taken it this way. This is my y coordinate. This is y plus dy coordinate. Okay. And then we are of the opinion pressure over here will be higher than pressure over here. Clear? Uh, yes, yes, sir. sir. Yes, sir. And we also do know one distinct difference between fluid and something which we call rigid. One distinct difference between fluid, because nothing is rigid, therefore we said, therefore I said something which we call rigid. So nothing is absolute rigid. So there is fluid given to you, and there is a rigid body or something which we are calling rigid given to you. How will you be able to? There is one particular statement or one particular exhibition by which you can distinguish fluid from rigid bodies and what that be what that be rigid bodies can withstand tangential forces rigid bodies can withstand tangential forces by that what i mean look over here this instrument box i keep it on my palm right and let us say that there is an adhesive it is glued to my palm. By India? Yes, sir. So the instrument box is glued to my palm. Now what I do? I apply force parallel to its surface. Is it okay? Are you getting it? Yes, sir. So if I apply force parallel to its surface, what will happen? It will get defaced, of course. If you have a cuboid, it will change to parallel pipe. Is it a dear? Yes, sir. If it is a, if it is cuboid in shape, it will change to parallel pipe. Are they yes or no? Yes, sir. Because we are applying a force parallel to its free surface, right? Yeah, this surface. Yes, sir. Down. Yes, sir. Understood. It'll yeah. Get defaced. Fine. It'll get defaced. Agree. Now, according to you, what will happen to defacing? Will it keep on defacing, or will the deface cease after some time? What it, so seize after some time. it will get a cessation. So yes. the phase will get a cessation taken. But 
cessation, you know, why are you saying it will get a cessation? Why? Because the rate of deformation decreases. Cessation will never take place. Yes. A rate with which it was deforming. Getting it, dear? Mm. Yes, sir. The rate with which it was deforming will get abated and it will go to insignificant value. Mind you, I said it will go to insignificant value. I didn't say it will go to zero. I did on purpose stop short from saying it will reduce to zero. It will never reduce to zero. Till the time you are on with process, it will show some change, however small it may be, but will keep on changing, right, yeah? Mm, yes, sir. Yeah, yeah. Going to give in. So this will also not be in the mood to, it will be reciprocating your efforts. Am I clear? Mm, yes, sir. So yeah, this yeah. will change, yes. Owing to nature, it will not get you the same rate, but certainly reciprocate to your efforts. Am I clear? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now think of water which is spill on floor. You spill water on floor. Try to do this experimentation back home today. Spill water on floor and then move your palm over the film of water. Is it okay? Yes, yes sir. sir. Yes, your sir. palm over film. Touching it, just rubbing it. You can say you're grazing the surface. Find here. So just graze yes. the surface and keep on moving. Moving your palm. You know what will you find? Tell me what will you find? What can you find? So water will spread all over. It will spread. Water will spread. So both the instrument box, this instrument box, which is rigid body to me, right there? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And water, which is non-rigid, correct? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. They were not able to withstand force parallel to their surface, correct? Yes, yes sir. Yes, sir. Both were not able to withstand force parallel to their surface. And technically, we call they are not able to withstand tangential force or tangential stress. The stress is forced by area. Is it okay? For now, the stress is forced by area. Am I clear? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We say that both are not able to withstand tangential force or force parallel to their surface or tangential stress. Clear, dear? Yes, yes sir. sir. Yes, sir. Can you, can you differentiate their behavior? Can you differentiate their behavior? Any one of you? Sir, uh, in case of uh. solids, uh, uh. The rate of deformation tends to zero after uh, some time. But in, okay. case of fluids, but in case of fluids, the deformation continuously happens. As long as force is there, there's deformation. Exactly. And not only continuously will happen, it will increase on rate. Oh, yeah, Try to yes. see for yourself today. It will okay. increase on rate. So this is the rank departure and this is the distinction. This is the exceptional behavior of liquid. What you get to see is when you talk of solid, when you talk of rigid body, of course, rigid body also cannot withstand tangential stress. But what will happen? They will oppose. And if yes. they are to oppose, you will find the rate of deformation to decrease with time. Whereas liquids, which we are talking of, rate of deformation will see an increment, an accentu accentuation with time. Are you getting it? So rate yes, of sir. accentuates, which makes us say that liquids cannot withstand force parallel to their surface. Am I clear? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It's a very important attribute which distinguishes liquid from solids. And that being liquids cannot withstand force parallel to their surface. It is not possible for any force to be parallel to surface of liquid. If there is any force parallel to surface of liquid, liquid cannot rest easy. Am I clear? 
Yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. The shape of liquid will keep on changing till the time it is able to make the shape perpendicular to force. It will not rest easy. Am I clear to all of you? Yes, yes sir. sir. Yes, sir. So, what will it try to do always? It will try to keep its surface perpendicular to force acting on it. Clear, dear? Yeah. Because yes, if the surface is not yes. perpendicular to force, then there will be a component of force in the direction of surface. Correct? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So then liquid cannot rest easy. Am I clear, class? It cannot be in tranquil state. So if liquid is in tranquil state, what does it mean? It means that force is parallel. Sorry, force parallel to its surface is zero. Force acting on it must be perpendicular to the surface. See for yourself. Why do we get liquid in this orientation in a glass kept on table? Why do you see liquid in this orientation? Why is this the surface seen? Tell me. What is the reason for no, because surface? Because atmospheric pressure up. So because atmospheric pressure is perpendicular to the surface. Okay. Force which is acting on it. Which force is acting on it? Mg. Which force is acting on it? Mg. That is the only force acting on it. Gravitational. Forget about atmospheric pressure for a while. That is the only force acting, right, Adesh? Yes, sir. It. it is in vacuum, so no pressure, no atmospheric pressure. Then also the surface will be the same, correct? Yes, sir. Okay, so what will you say then? You will say that force which is acting on bulk is in which direction? Downward direction, correct? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So what will the surface try to do? It will try to make an angle 90 degree to it. It will try yes, to make an angle 90 degree to it. Then the person will ask, why so? Why will it try to make an angle 90 degree to it? Then you will say, if it is not 90, if you take at an angle theta, let us say this is theta, then there will be a component of mg parallel to surface, correct? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And if there is component of mg parallel to surface, then liquid can never be in this shape. There will be a component parallel to its surface. Think about it. What did I say? I'm, I'm just trying to summarize it now because this will come later, by the way that what happens when you let a liquid move in the horizontal direction. Then you will not see this level, you will see this level. This level will change its orientation. It will not be in this level, it will be in this level. Level or the free surface will change its orientation. And why will that happen, you know? It will happen to make the net force acting on the surface zero. Because if you take and make it move to the right, suppose you are making it move to the right with acceleration A, then there will be a pseudo force acting in this direction. Agreed, yeah? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And this pseudo force will be parallel to free surface. Semi yes or no? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Mg will be down. So, Mg, there is no problem with Mg, of course. But there will be a problem with Ma, correct? Yes, sir. Yes, so, sir. what will we try to do? What will the surface try to do? Surface will try to reorient itself. And why will surface try to reorient itself? Because it cannot be a tangential force. Correct, dear? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So yes, what will it try to do? It will try to make net force along its surface equated to zero. So, but one doubt. Huh. What happens if there is no force? Which force? If there's no force acting on the liquid, no force. Well, like no in space, space, when no energy, no MA. Nothing. Yes, sir. No force. Like and in space, it will yes. shrink to a sphere. Then tension will act, and you will get water droplets. Like in, in space. space. In space, you get water droplets, right? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, okay. You have to move yourself and then grab hold of through your by your mouth of water droplets. Otherwise, you will not be able to drink water. Oh, so, yes, it will be floating yes, water droplet. You may ask that why will it be spherical on shape? Owing to surface tension. And surface tension has got nothing to do with gravity. Yes. So, owing to surface tension. Surface tension, what will it try to do? It will try to shrink. For given volume, area of sphere is minimum. Correct, dear? Yes, sir. 
Yes, sir. So what it will try to do it will try to shrink to minimal area and it will take shape of sphere. So that will happen then. Got it, dear? Yes, sir. What, Krish? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. But for now, as you say, MA is there, MG is there. So MA is the bone of contention. Say me, Asano. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So it will try to reorient so as to make net force acting zero. That means MA in this direction, this angle theta, it will try to change the surface to an angle theta so that MA cos theta is equal to mg sin theta. Getting it, dear? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Getting for yourself. Of the inclination, MA cos theta, correct? Yes, sir. And of mg component of the inclination, mg sin theta, correct? Yes, sir. So what will it try to do? It will try to reorient so as to get Net force acting along the line, along the line, MA cos theta minus MG cos theta is equal to how much? Zero. Yes, sir. So that is what it tries to do. Unless and until that is established, it will keep on vacillating, it will keep on wobbling, it will not rest easy. Clear, dear? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So that is that is the reason why you see when liquid without MA, there is no acceleration. You see them to be in this shape. They will be making what angle with MG? 90 degree. Getting it, dear? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And why is it important for us to analyze here this aspect of liquid? Why is it important? Why did I pop it over here? Is because I was to make you aware of direction of force on this hypothetical void. Direction of force on this hypothetical cuboid, it cannot be this way. It cannot be this way. It yeah. cannot be this way. Tell me why. So because there will be components in the tangential direction. Yes. So yes. Because then this water hypothetical do it, but this will not be able to be there comfortable in its skin. Correct, dear? Yeah? Yes, yes, sir. You have taken the force component in the direction parallel to free surfaces. Correct, dear? Yeah. Yes, sir. That's the reason we are only to show force acting in which direction? In normal direction. Are you getting it? Normal to what? Normal to the surface of our taking. Clear, dear? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Forces are to be shown acting always normal. Question can be asked, and let me ask you a question over here. There is a crooked container given to you, and you are to let's puncture a hole here. You are to puncture a hole here. Is it okay? Yes, sir. So if you are to puncture a hole here, how will water squirt of it? It can through this. Through this, through this, which way do you feel will water skirt? A, B, C, D of this orifice. Which way and why? The, is this the B. B, sir? B. B, why? So because only in that direction there will be a force. So no, the other, others are not. B, G. It will be perpendicular to the surface in contact. Okay? Perpendicular to the surface in contact. Just now I told you, force will be in which direction? Force will always be normal to the surface. Correct, yeah? Force yes, will sir. always be normal to the surface. So the only direction in which container can apply force or water can apply force on container will be perpendicular to surface. Correct, dear? With surface, common surface, right? Yes, sir. Yeah, so whenever we are to find direction, we are to first draw perpendicular to surface. Am I clear, Krish? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So if it is being proliferated, let's say it's being proliferated here, then you can say it will move in this direction, correct? Yeah, yes, sir. 
then you cannot say it will move, it can move in this way, this way, or this way, whichever way willingly we take. No, it is not possible. It may appear to you, why? Because not the ideal case, but if we go with the ideal case, it can move only in this direction. Clear, yeah. So, yes, if a servant is given to you this way, and over here is punctured a hole, what shall you do? To get direction of water, you will draw a tangent to surface. Clear? Yeah? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Water will squirt in the direction perpendicular. perpendicular to it. Fine? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. So this is the direction in which water is to come out. Fine. After of this, let me come to what we were in. So we said that pressure will act or force will act. I was on force. So force due to liquid, right? Force due to what? Yes, on what? On the hypothetical liquid that we have taken? Correct, yeah? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So let me show you the forces first. Okay. Now this is to be the hypothetical cuboid. One of the force which will act horizontal will be this, correct? Yeah? Because I'm calculating force acting on it, not what it is applying on water. Clear? Yes, yes, sir. yes. Okay, so water to the left will apply force on it in this direction, agree? Yeah. Yes, yes sir. sir. Okay. This goes the same for this side. Right, yeah. Yes, sir. Weight, it is pressing the water below down. Clear? Yeah? Yes. There is yes, some sir. weight. Yes, we sir. This. What will be weight of it? The row area of cross section A into dy. A into dy will be volume. A is the area of cross section. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So this is this is the weight, and this weight is acting in which direction? Downward direction, clear? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It is yes, pushing sir. the water below down, clear, yeah? Yes, yeah. sir. Yes, sir. If the water which is down will apply force on it in which direction? Upward direction, agreed? Upward. One direction yes, is upward, yes, sir. Sir, no? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, then comes the water above it. Water above it, this one, this part, this, section, this segment of water. This segment of water will apply its weight on it, will throw its weight on it, correct, dear? Yeah. yeah. Yes, sir. So that will also be marked and that will be marked this way, right, dear? Yes, sir. Or yes, sir. Agreed, Krish, any doubt? Yes, sir. No, sir, no, sir. Okay. I am not, yes, sir. I'm not saying a word on air or anything because air it is not in direct contact with, as you can see for yourself. I'm just writing for the contact forces. I have not even written for MG. MG, I took a help in order to get direction of contact forces. Correct, dear? Yes, sir. So these are the contact yes. forces, correct? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Fine. To the left, to the right, they will balance each other. Going to symmetry. Whatever you are to get to the left will be to the right and they are to balance each other. That means this body is in the balanced state when it comes to the horizontal forces. Can we say that? Yes, sir. Yes. Can we say that yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Then comes what about the vertical? Vertical, of course, cannot be balanced. Why vertical cannot be balanced? Because in vertical direction, there is one more force acting. And what is that? Rho A dy. Agreed? Where rho is density. Correct? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Sir. yes. Oh. So we cannot say this force is equal to this force. Otherwise, this cannot remain over here. This switch thing. Correct? Mm, yes, yes, sir. So. so they are different. Fine. I take them differently. I write one force as P1, the other force as P2. Find here? Yes, sir. Yes, P into A. P into A force. P is the pressure. Fine? P into A. Force, got it here? Pressure into area, force? Yes, sir. Yes, yes, sir. Now, I'll drag you to something, some fallacy. I'm telling you over here, Richard. the generosity. I'm telling you that I'll be driving you to some fallacy. And then we'll ask, where lies the fallacy? Okay, tell me, which according to you should be higher? P1 or P2? All of you in, in unison, I want unequivocal answer. I want 
I want an equivocal answer. Which one should be higher according to you? You want this cuboid of your tape, the hypothetical cuboid to float. So which one should be higher according to you? P1 or P2? P1. Sir, P1. P1. Okay, Krish, P1 should be higher. Is it okay with you? Yes, sir. Okay. So let me write it down in accordance. P1 is equal to P plus DP. Okay, and P2 is equal to P. Any problem? One second. No. P2 is equal to P, yes, sir. So one, okay, one second. P1 is equal to P plus DP and P2 is equal to P, right? Yes, sir. Okay, yes, and sir. As I have asked you in question to write equation of motion, let us write second law of Newton. Yes, right, sir. The free body on this body act a force P1, P2, yeah. and rho A dy set. Correct, dear? A yes, force yes, set of sir. P1, P2, and rho A dy. Let me write them down. Now, rho A dy downwards, correct? Mm, yes, sir. Yes, sir. P plus dp into A downwards, correct? Rho A, uh, yes, sir. Uh, just a minute, sir. Not P plus dp. P2 is downward, now. Nah? So, P plus dp into A upwards, correct? So, minus. Check it. P1 you have taken, now. Nah? P1 is P plus dp, right? So, yes, like sir. P1 I have taken, P1 into A. So, P1 is P plus D. Oh, yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes. Yes, sir. So, then, then we, okay, then we add P. And third one is P into A plus, correct? Yes. Yes, sir. All the forces, as we know, will sum up to mass into acceleration, which is zero. Tell me why yes, zero. Sir. Because acceleration so is zero. Acceleration is right? yes, yeah. sir. yes, sir. What do we get to see from here is A cancel rho dy over here. PA, PA cancel minus of dp here. Right? Is equal to and there will be gl. Well, I missed on gp is right g. Wait, we are talking of right? There will be gl. Yes, sir. Wait, correct. First. So there will be gl as well. Is it okay? This is equal to what to us? Zero to us. Check once. Yes, sir. Yes, okay. Sir. You convinced? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. yes, sir. And then I write dp is equal to dp rho a, oh, no, no, rho g into dy. Fine? Check it here. Yes, sir. Okay. Let us integrate it. Let us integrate it. Pressure at Capital H, I take total height of the height of water as capital H. Is it okay? I take height of water as capital H. Find here? Yeah? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I take atmospheric pressure as P0. Is it okay? Yes, sir. I take pressure as P0. Find here, all of you? Yes, yes sir. sir. Yes, sir. So when Y is H, what is pressure? When y is h, what is pressure? Not. P naught. P naught. And when y is y, let us say pressure is P. Find here. When y yeah, exactly. is yeah, is it okay? Yeah. Can yes, you get it? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Y is y. Y is y. Which point here? Yeah. Clear, yeah. Yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Is pressure taken P? Clear? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So Y from bottom, from top, from free surface, how much? Capital H minus Y. Clear? Yes, sir. Yes, yes sir. sir. Using it, tell me what will you get over here after integration? P minus P naught. Fine? Yeah. Is yes, equal sir. to rho G bracket open. Y minus H. Agreed? Yes, yeah. sir. So that will be yes, negative. Sir. So, which one is one? No, no, no. Correct, correct. Yes, sir. Sorry. Yes, sir. E is equal to then 
P naught plus rho G Y minus H. Agree? Check it, dear. Check it. I have to know who is it. Yes. Is it fine or not? Yeah. Yes. Yes, sir. Now y minus h is equal to minus of h minus y. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So p is equal to p naught minus rho g y prime. I'm writing this length as y prime. Correct? Sir, sir, I guess there is a mistake in the first part. Which one? Here? P, p minus dp, sir. That's all I guess. Okay, but you said that p one will be higher. That's what I'm not able to think. So I, there's some mistake in the first part. Yes, so what we are getting suddenly cannot be expected or accepted. What we are getting is contrary to what did Archimedes suggest. Isn't it, dear? Yes, sir. So instead of floating, instead of getting buoyant force upwards, we'll be getting the force in the downward direction. Because this is suggesting h minus y is y prime. Correct, all of you. Check it out here. I have not erased a thing. Is it okay? Yeah. h minus y I am representing over here as y prime. Yeah, dear. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So what is this indicative of? This equation is indicative of the fact that as you are going down, pressure is decreasing. Correct? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You are going down. Pressure is decreasing, which is counterintuitive. It cannot be this way, correct? Yeah. Yes. Sir. Yes, sir. So where did we go wrong? Is in the first step. Of course, it is the first step. But first step where? Sir, do is we take? P plus dp will be p minus dp. If you will say p plus dp will be p minus dp. Then I'll tell you that dp as per calculus can be positive or negative. Calculus never did say that dp will always be positive. Dp can change, right, dear? Yeah, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Change. change. Dp means change, and change can be positive or negative. So exact is what I wanted of you, Krish. And you could have answered anyway. No issue. Remember, as you are as you are studying calculus, I presume. Are you as of now? Uh, so differentiation is done. We are not done completely. You just you have to start integration. Okay. So in differentiation, the term dy. When we write function, Krish, then we adhere to differentiation principle. Then we adhere to the notations. By that, what I mean. If y I have taken over here, and for this point I am referring y plus dy. Are you getting it? Yes, sir. If y is for this point, and for this point is y plus dy, then I'll have to stick to these notations. I'll have to stick to these notations. By that, what I mean? Y will correspond to P, and Y plus DP will correspond to P plus DP. I will have to stick to the precedent set. Am I clear? Yes, sir. I'll have to be in adherence with the precedents that I am setting. So, in adherence to the precedent set, we are to follow calculus as per what calculus is asking of you. Calculus said that if you are taking y and this y plus dy, then you have to stick to this. By that, what it means? It means that pressure over here will be marked p, and here will be marked in commensurate with the symbols that you are using y plus dy. So corresponding pressure mark will be p plus dp. Then of course, few eyebrows are to be raised, and that being, but p plus dp will be more than p. That calculus didn't say. Calculus didn't say that p plus dp will be more than p. Why? Because calculus says dp can be positive or negative. Am I clear? Yes. Sir. So calculus says dp can be positive or negative. Am I clear, dear? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. 
So we yes, are sir. to be in adherence with the principle, the rules of calculus. If this is y and this y plus dy, then y will correspond to p and y plus dp will correspond to p plus dp. It cannot be the other way around. Fine? Yes, sir. And then what we are finding our answer in, in dp, which by calculus can be positive or negative. Clear, dear? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now tell me, what shall we do then? We'll have to take P2 as P plus DP and P1 as P. Clear, dear? This was the fallacy. And if you will do that, that is only one change which you will get. This will be plus. That's it. Check it out. Check it out. Check it out. This was minus. This will change to plus. That will be the only change you will be getting. By that, what I mean? The equation dp. Which one? This one. Will change to dp is equal to minus rho g dy. Find the yeah. Minus. Get replaced by a minus term. Find? Yes, sir. And then when you will integrate, you will get the end result as p is equal to p naught plus rho g y prime. Where what is y prime? Depth. Is it okay? What is y prime? Depth. Depth. What do we get to see? The correct result being indicative of as we move down, what will happen to pressure? Tell me now. The pressure, pressure will increase as we move down the tumbler. Pressure will increase and this increase, please take the mathematical note of it, is linear. Is it okay? This is a linear increment. Agreed? Yes, sir. Yes, Pressure sir. will increase and it will increase linearly. Clear, dear? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, so P is equal to P naught plus rho G Y. P is equal to P naught plus rho G Y. Write it down in words. What happens to pressure? As you move in the line of action, of course. Now make it general. As you move in the line of action of force. Why I'm asking you to make it general, you'll get to know in few seconds from now. As you move in the line of application of force, what will happen to pressure? Pressure will increase. Clear, dear? And that yes. increment is linear. Can you see for yourself? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. So as we are moving in the direction of mg, pressure is increasing. As we are moving in the direction of mg, pressure is increasing. That is the only force and you are moving in that direction. So pressure is increasing. Am I clear to all of you on this one? Yes, sir. Yes. All of you. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Right. Yes, sir. Let us take. Let us take a cuboid. Let us take a cuboid. Of a or a capital A of capital A area of cross section of capital A area of cross section and and small h height. And all H height as shown in the figure. Small H height as shown in the figure. Find, find net force acting. Find 
force acting on this foreign cuboid on this foreign cuboid just to make myself assertive i am using that word foreign because previously we took the same figure and it was part of water body correct yeah the yes water sir. table which yes, we sir. took was part of water body larger water body here yeah? this is the foreign element you have dunk a foreign element in water find here yeah? yes sir yes sir yes sir yes, okay now tell me what according to you will be pressure at depth h1 that means here this point what pressure you will get to see what pressure will act on the top surface we give you P yeah, naught plus V H one. Top surface as in like in keeping with the formula which we have derived. Come on, tell me. Yeah, P naught plus V H one. All of you, please. All of you, please. In keeping with the formula that we have derived. Tell me, dear Adesh, what will it be? P naught plus P plus V H one. P naught plus V H one. Which one? H one or H or capital H? The H one. H one. Very good. This will be pressure, and pressure multiplied with cross-sectional area will get you force, right, dear? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And this force is on foreign element in which direction? Downward direction, right, dear? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, good, dear. Vedan, this one is at a depth h2. Could you please let me know of what pressure this surface is to bear? So, P naught. P naught. Plus rho. So P not plus uh, P G H two. Rho 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 G H two not. H2. That is rho density. Density correct. Density of liquid. Density of liquid not density of solid which we have done. Density of liquid correct. Yes sir. Into area. This force will be in which direction? Upward direction. Right, right. fresh. Yes sir. Yes, sir. Fresh. What about the weight of solid? Sir, mg downward. Mg. Can you get me in terms of rho s? Sir, uh, r the rho s yes, into rho s into volume into g. So volume volume can be marked as h2 minus h1 into area into, into g. Which direction is downwards? Correct. Please do yes, check class. Are you able to relate to it? Tell it to all the equations. Yes, sir. Okay, good yes, enough. Yes, sir. Now I ask you to find differential. You please do find differential. Differential of the above two, right? Yeah. So if you yes. find yes. differential of the first two, what you have to get is rho g. Tell me, dear. Rho g h two minus h one. Into a which direction upwards? Agreed? Yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Rho g h two minus h one hold into a in which direction upwards? Correct. Yes, sir. The other one is rho s h two minus h one into a into g. Right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now let me be an ask on. Which of the two forces is force due to water? Which of the two forces is force due to water? First or second? The first one. The first one. And it is in which direction? Upward. Opposite to mg. Can we say that? Yes. Sir. In the direction opposite to the direction in which acts mg. Say me yes or no. Yes sir. yes sir. Yes sir. Okay. This is what is called buoyant force. This is what is called buoyant force. And what is the genesis of buoyant force? Difference in pressure. Correct. Yes sir. Yes sir. Yes. Where from it stems? Difference in pressure. Are you getting it, dear? Yes. Yes sir. sir. So buoyant force relates to difference in pressure. Am I clear? 
Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And when do you think the body can float? When do you think the body can float? So when buoyant force, force is upward force is neutralized by downward force, correct? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So when will that happen? When buoyant force is equal to when buoyant force is equal to weight of liquid displaced. Can I say? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. First, I'll say when point force is equal to weight of solid. Agree? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. See for yourself. Is this not weight of solid? This one. Yes, sir. This weight of solid. Agree or not? Check it out, dear. Check it out. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So point force. Can we say when point force is equal to weight of solid? Then body will float, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now can we say that buoyant force is nothing but? I repeat, buoyant force is nothing but weight of liquid displaced by solid. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Buoyant force. What is this? Check, check, check. What is this? Volume of solid. Agree? Yeah. Yes, yes sir. sir. Volume multiplied with rho of liquid, mm -hmm. correct? Yes, sir. Yeah, yes, sir. Yes. So, what is this in totality? Weight of liquid displaced by what? By solid, which is dunk in it, correct? Yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, for point force, what all we have? First of all, it is beholden by difference in pressure, correct? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Then, if the body is floating, mind you, if the body is floating, it may be a possible that the body is not floating. Are you getting it? Yes, yes sir. sir. It may be a possible yes, that the body is not floating. So, body may float or it may not float. But buoyant force will always be equal to weight of liquid displaced. Am I clear? Yes, sir. Body may yes, float or it may not float, irrespective of body floating or sinking. Point force will be equal to weight of liquid displaced. Are you getting it? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. But if the body is floating, you can go a step further, correct? Yes, if sir. If yes, the body is floating, we can go a step further. And then we can add to it that it is equal to weight of the liquid body dunk in it. Correct, dear? Weight of solid. Weight yes, of the floating yes. body. Can we say that? Yes, yes, sir. sir. Yes, sir. So, will boy, let me ask you a question. Is it that buoyant force is always equal to weight of solid dunk in it? No, sir. No, sir. Is it that buoyant no. force is always equal to weight of liquid displaced? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. What did you What is Adesh? Did you answer Adesh? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, yes, sir. So buoyant force, we are clear now? Yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. It stems from it stems from differential on pressure. Can we say pressure differential? Yes or no? Yes, sir. Yes, it stems sir. from pressure differential. Say me yes or no? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, very good. Now write a question quickly. A tumbler is dropped. A tumbler is dropped. So as to move, so as to move freely under gravity. A tumbler is dropped so as to move freely under gravity. Find buoyant force. Find buoyant force on an object of volume V naught and density rho s. Find buoyant force on an object of volume V naught and density rho s. 
if it is completely submerged in liquid of density rho if it is completely submerged in liquid of density rho so there is a tumbler which is holding liquid of density rho right dear yes sir yes and you have an object of what density rho s density volume v not or v and you are to find buoyant force on this object can you make a read yes think about it what will be the force applied on this object and one so completely submerged means it's at the bottom is a person the liquid of density rho so means and is the, it at the bottom tumbler is drop okay. so can we for buoyant force we can find the differential in pressure won't that be enough sir okay find it out volume is given to you is it floating yeah it is uh, it is floating fine somewhere in floating basically i'll say that i am asking you on buoyant force i am not privy to whether the body is floating or not i'm just asking you on buoyant force what will be buoyant force on the body so exactly i'm not in know of the state in which body is floating or not because that depend on buoyant force buoyant force has got nothing to do with floating right dear krish i told you just now we have explained it to ourselves right yes sir buoyant force will be there and will be equal to this floating or not will depend on whether buoyant force is equal to mg or less than that correct yes sir yes sir the so buoyant force we can exclusively find and that is what the question is positioned at what will be the buoyant force on it so is it rho g v not okay rho g v not fine what will be buoyant force on it being as pressure yes. going with With weight of liquid displaced, right, Krish? Krish, are you going with weight of liquid displaced? Yes, yes, sir. Okay, so rho g v not fine. Yes, Adesh Vedant. Uh, Adeshan Vedan, the answer. No sir. Okay, so I'll I'll lead you to answer. I'll lead you to answer, and the answer stems from the fact that what will be pressure at different points. Correct, dear? Yes, yes sir. Yes. So we saw for one case, if you can recollect, when you wrote. Equation of motion. What was it? Equation of motion. We wrote. Can you remind me of that equation? It was rho a g d y. Correct. Rho yes, a g d y rho s. Right. Rho s a yes. g d y. This was for the solid object or foreign object dunk in liquid. Correct. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Sir. And then you had. For the top surface, what was that? Pressure from top and pressure from bottom. Do you remember? Yes, sir. So. Okay. And this pressure, if I write the pressure equation, then I write pressure is equal to P dot plus rho g h one and P dot plus rho g h two. Right, dear? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We write pressure equation. We get varying pressure. We get pressure at the top lesser than pressure at bottom. Those we do have, right? Yeah. Yes, sir. 
Now let me ask you, why did the pressure vary? Is it because of difference in height? Because the height were different and there was force gravity acting downwards, correct? Yes, yes sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Now if you have dropped the tumbler, then what force will act on the tumbler? Because you should be in the tumbler. So you are in the elevator and elevator is moving downwards or upwards. Let us take downward first as it was dropped. So you are in, in an elevator and elevator is moving downwards. So mg is acting on you and also is acting a force owing to you being in a non-inertial frame. Can you tell me which force is that? Pseudo force. Pseudo force. How much will be pseudo force equal to? If you are moving down with G, how much will be pseudo force equal to? How much will be pseudo force equal to? Mass is MD, yeah? And you are moving MG. down with G. Pseudo MG. force, how much will it be equal to? MG. MG. And in which direction? Stop. Yeah. Upward. Oh, yeah, sorry, yeah, pseudo force upwards. So one force is acting way downwards, Mg, and the other force is acting pseudo Mg upwards, correct? Yes, yes, sir. yes sir. What is the net force that you feel being in liquid? Because Mg got over air anal, correct, yeah? Yes, sir. F from the variation in pressure was stemming. The variation in pressure was stemming of the fact that Mg was acting downwards. Correct, dear? Yeah? I yes, told sir. you yes. to force. Pressure increases in the direction of application of force. I told you. Correct, dear? Yeah? Yes, sir. Yes, now, sir. when only Mg acts, then as you move down, pressure is to increase and that increment we have seen linear increment, correct? Yes, sir. Yeah, yes, but sir. when you are in the tumbler or in an elevator, in which is kept tumbler, an elevator is moving downward, then there is one more force which you will apply on water body and that is pseudo force. In which direction? Upwards, correct, dear? Yeah? Yes, yes sir. sir. Yes, sir. So what is the net force in the vertical direction here, dear? Oh, yeah. Let me take yes, force sir. in the vertical direction. Why this long gap? Net so zero. force in yes, the vertical sir. direction. Mg down, Mg up. Net force. Come so on. Zero. 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 Yes. So zero. So variation in pressure stems from force, right? Yes, sir. Yes. But if force is itself zero. If force is itself zero, will pressure vary? No. Will pressure vary? Variation in oh. pressure stems from force. And pseudo force in turn is related to variation in pressure. Yes or no? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. If force itself is zero, will pressure vary? No, sir. No, sir. And if pressure will not vary, Will there be any pseudo force experienced by the body which is done? No, sir. Uh, sir. So, what will you say? Buoyant force zero. There will be no buoyant force experienced by the body which is done. The buoyant force will be zero. Buoyant force will not be experienced. Why so? Reason you know, correct, dear? Yeah? Yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. When will this happen? Only when you have dropped a body so that it is free to fall under gravity. Clear? Am I clear on this? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, please write it down in your own words quickly. These are a few very important questions in shaping. A few very important questions in shaping. An aquarium mistakenly being dropped. What is the buoyant force acting on fish in the aquarium? What do you have to write? Zero. 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 Okay. 
So that means in this case, they won't the liquid will not be displaced by uh, there won't be any liquid displaced by the body. Liquid displacement by the body. Yes, sir. Body may displace liquid here. There is no variation in pressure. Weight of liquid is an after effect of pressure equation. Correct, yeah. Yes, sir. We first calculated pressure and then we did related with weight of liquid displaced. Correct, yeah. Yes. Sir. So liquid may get displaced if you are keeping it inside, dunk inside. Liquid is ought to get displaced. There is no option. Correct, yeah. Mm, yeah. Yes, sir. But there is no variation in pressure. P1 is equal to P2. Okay, yes, sir. Point force will be zero. Got it, yeah? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Got it. Question number two, which with we are to end this class, write down. A log of wood floating in water. A log of wood floating in water is kept, is kept in an elevator. A log of wood floating in water is kept in an elevator. Moving up with acceleration A. If X is the part submerged, if X is the part submerged, then X will increase, X will decrease, X will remain the same as elevator moves up with acceleration A. X will increase, X will decrease, X will remain same as elevator moves up with acceleration A. What will happen to X being asked? Think about it. Question clear? There is a log of wood with X part submerged, and then you pick it up, place it in an elevator. You let the elevator move up with an acceleration, certain acceleration A. Then what according to you will happen to X? Will increase, decrease, remain the same? Think about it. Think about it. Think about these questions here. Place two and two together. Whatever we have read, they are from that only. Just try to join the dots. By joining the dots, what I mean? I am going back to the first equation. When you got, tell me what you got in first equation. First equation means water cuboid, hypothetical cuboid. Correct, yeah? Yes, yes sir. sir. What we got there, can you recollect? P plus dP into A was in which direction? Downward direction, correct? Yes, yes sir. P to A was in upward direction, correct? And rho G A into dy was in what direction? Downward direction, correct? Sir. Yes, sir. There was only one row then, correct, dear? Yeah? Yeah, yes, yes, sir. And that was row of liquid, correct? Yes, sir. And then yes, what sir. we did? We wrote, we're taking the algebraic equation, we wrote PA, if it's positive, then minus of P plus DP into A and minus of rho G A into DY is equal to what to us? Zero. Why did we write zero? Tell me, because now we have to focus on zero. Why did we write zero? This is Newton's second law of motion. Let me have to So, but here it will be A, no, sir. MA. I we then did write zero. I'm asking for the case then, dear. So we then did write zero. Reason the body was not in motion, right? Yes, sir. Yes, Even sir. body was not in motion. So we wrote zero for it. Thereby we got an equation, and you know that equation was dp is equal to minus of rho g dy, right? Yeah. And remember this equation, this very important equation. 
because they can ask you if rho is changing, what will be pressure? And then you have to replace rho for the function that they will get you. Not always rho is constant. So this is the equation that will help you then. Clear, dear? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. They can get you that rho is changing. Tell me what will be pressure at that point. So I have to write that rho over here. Rho changing with, let's say rho is changing with y. What is rho? Rho is rho naught gy. Fine? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And you have to write it over here. So this equation is of import over here. Anyway, back to my ask. We got this owing to this part being zero, right of equality being zero, correct? Uh, uh, yes, yes, sir. If we take the same cuboid, same water cuboid, correct, yeah? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And keeping it in the elevator which is moving up with a i ask you to write equation again what will you write then rho g a sorry rho a dy into small a. clear check it here yes. if if that piece entire of the arrangement is moving up and moving up with what acceleration a then what will you write it to the what will you write to the right of equality you will write to the right of equality mass into acceleration right yes, yes sir. sir yes sir. how much will be mass rho a dy will be mass because it is still the liquid correct yeah yes, yes sir. sir so rho a dy will be mass mass multiplied with acceleration which is what you have taken clear yes yeah, sir, yes, sir. Then you will get dp equal to you know what minus of rho a plus g into dy. Check it, dear. Check it, check it. Is it? Yeah, yes, sir. Minus yes, sir. of rho a plus g. If moving up, a plus g. If moving down, g minus a. Clear, dear? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So this variation is when you have kept the tumbler in an elevator. So can we say dp is nothing but minus of rho into effective g dy. Yeah. Yeah, yes, sir. G effective. Whatever is g effective. If moving up, A plus G, moving down, G minus A. If moving down with G, G minus G, zero. And DP will be zero, right? Sir, yeah, the previous yes, case. Sir. Got it? Which will lead us to the previous case, 0 0.40. Correct, yeah? Yes, sir. So, what we get to see here, if I am now to calculate variation in pressure, variation in pressure will be high. Can we yes or no? Tell me yes or no. If yes, it is moving up, yes. which it is, and now I want to calculate variation in pressure, then instead of getting P is equal to P naught plus, instead of getting P is equal to P naught plus rho G H, I will get P is equal to P naught plus rho A plus G into H. Tell me yes or no, dear. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That means pressure is now varying, but varying at a rate faster than what when A was missing. Clear? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So what will happen to buoyant force? Will it increase or not? It will increase. Because stop, if you keep P0, whether it is stationary or moving up, Top is P naught only, right? Yeah, this portion is exposed to atmosphere, correct? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. But what has happened to bottom? Come on, tell me now. So here, actually, there is more greater pressure. Compare the two, 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 and you can say, compare the two, please, compare the two, and then you can say something. What will you say about it? Comparing the two, what we can say? We can say... Uh, actual increase. So now pressure at bottom will be higher or will be even with previous case. Come on, dear, all of you. Higher. So higher. All of you, I want all of you. So higher. Higher. Pressure will be higher. And higher by what amount if someone do ask? You will say higher by amount. Rho A H. Agreed. Yes, sir. 
Yes, sir. So this is the amount by which pressure is high. That means this is additional push. Can we say that? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Pressure yes. High. Pressure multiplied with area means what? Additional buoyant force. Say me, yes or no? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So this is additional buoyant force going to movement. This is additional buoyant force that we are getting. Good. This is additional. Okay. But this additional buoyant force should make x decrease then. Agreed or not? Yeah. Yes, yes, sir. Sir. yes sir. Yeah, This is additional buoyant force. So this is extra push and extra push should make x decrease. Correct? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Will X decrease? Will X decrease? Answer to that no. is no. Why? Is it because because as you are inside the elevator, there will also be a pseudo force. Yes, sir. Sure. Pseudo force acting in which direction? Good. Downward direction. Correct, dear? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And that pseudo force acting in the downward direction, M into A, M into A in the downward direction. This pseudo force and the additional buoyant force, we can prove they are same, even. Pseudo force will be equal to additional buoyant force. You can prove it. Think about it. Think about it. I'm keeping this open. You can prove that pseudo force, additional pseudo force will be equal to buoyant force. And then what will happen? X will remain the same. X will not change. X will remain the same. Is it clear? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Going to what did I, did I say so? The additional pressure or force okay, as it is moving up. So the after effect being additional force and this additional force will get neutralized by pseudo force or vice versa. Fine, dear? Yes, yes sir. sir. Yes, sir. So X remains the same. Yeah. Fine? Yes, yes sir. sir. Yes, sir. Can we keep to this today? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Please revise, no need to jump for the question unless asked, right? Let me tell you, as I make no bones about, we have seen only 7 to 9% of fluids today. Am I clear? Yes, sir. So it is no way a redemption to questions. Fine, dear? Okay. Yes, yes, sir. Sir. Thank so, you. Stick to the portion which we are through on questions for now. Okay, dear. Thank you, class. Thank, Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir.